Uh, in trying then <coughs> sorry, to, to outline some areas where I would like to concentrate my efforts, I'm influenced by a book from 1984 by Max Ad Atkinson called Our Master's Voices. He, in this book, he addresses the question, what, kind, what kinds of political messages are capable of striking chords within an audience? Uh, and he relied on audio and video type material, and he noted when the audience uh, applauded. Um, one of the findings in this book is that lists of three items please audiences. They have somehow an air of unity or completeness about them. Lists of two appear to be inadequate or incomplete. And he also noted if you try longer lists, more than three, you get the applause after three. Uh, it's very interesting. And of course, if you recall a number of memorable quotes such as Veni, Vidi, Vici, Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité, Government of the people, by the people, for the people, you can, the list is extremely long. Okay, with this in mind, <laughs> I'll try to single out three areas where I think we uh, could improve. And the three areas are membership, teaching, visibility. I take them in the. I, no, yeah, you will. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's and <laughs> you're the only one who got the message, right? Okay, uh, this also makes nicely for a memorable acronym M. TV. No associations beyond that. MTV, OK membership. I think we can do better along several dim dimensions. Geographically, think of Asia. I noted in the statistics that Aikens has more members in Trinidad and Tobago than in China and India combined. And even with those logos and so forth, uh, it's not exactly the way the world looks. Uh, we, I think we can look at age groups. I think it's very important to recruit younger researchers and practitioners. And if we think in terms of c categories, we could have many more practitioners as members. We heard Tom the other day talked about the growing international civil service and there is a large pot potential membership there. Those of them that we want to have as members. <laughs> um, we will launch, or our headquarters office will launch a membership drive uh, shortly. But I think this is something we could all contribute to. I would ask each one of you, really, to make an inventory of your professional network and try to identify those who are not yet members of Aikens and influ influence them to join. Teaching. The second one, uh, in our bylaws, it says that we are an educational and research association. There tends, especially at annual meetings like this, to be more emphasis on research than on teaching. But teaching about international organization today, I think, is extremely important at all levels. Uh, I welcome the initiative by uh, Henrik Pepke and Julia Hafenstetter and a broader network uh, labeled UN Studies Association to develop an interactive knowledge base with reading material, syllabi, bibliographies, and other kinds of material as part 
of the Aikens website. There are a number of things to, to uh, discuss there, but uh, we think this is something that could add value to, to the organization. I also think we need to find ways to get more practitioners into classrooms. And I think Aikens is really a good uh, organization to facilitate that kind of links. Visibility, finally, then. We have discussed in the board, and we want to look for ways of making the brand Aikens more visible and better known. 